you're using a bell siphon to flood and drain your grow bed, uh, there's a couple of problems as far as adjustments uh, that you may run into. And one of those is going to be um, that your, your drain cycle is not starting. And so um, if you come out and uh, in a full running system, of course, you would not just have water in here unless you were doing a floating raft system. But we're doing a flood and drain. Uh, with a media grow bed. So this would be all covered with either a clay media or rock. Uh, but you may come out, uh, your pump's running, and uh, you look in here and there's just a small drain coming out, um, but the drain cycle never starts. So you may sit here and watch for a while, and uh, the flow never increases, and the drain cycle never starts. Um, so two things can cause a constant drain. One is, uh, that there is not enough flow going into the grow bed, so not enough flow from the pump. So you either need to increase the pump pressure with your with your valve, or maybe your pump's not pumping as well anymore, or there could be an obstruction somewhere along the way, but you're not getting enough flow for the siphon to start. Um, now, it's obvious that the, the grow, grow bed is full of water, but if it was full of media, you may not be able to see because the water's gonna stay below the surface. So what you would wanna do is come in and um, check inside your media guard and you would be able to see in here uh, that the water level is just staying right at the top. And so what's happening there is, uh, and I, just for the purpose of showing you how this problem works, I turn the water pressure on my pump way down, it's just barely trickling in here, so I'm not getting enough flow through that inner standpipe um, to uh, start the siphon. So there's not enough water flowing down and sucking in air to, through this bell to start that siphon. Um, so to fix this problem and get the drain started, you don't want to overturn the pressure. Um, now when I set these systems up and I get my drain cycle where it's cycling on and off several times consistently, then I think I've got a good spot. What I'll normally do is put a mark on the valve little wet and shiny there but I'll put a mark on that valve um, and then I can see where it needs to be so you can see I've adjusted it down and what I'm going to do is open it up to my mark so that I can show you that putting more flow in is going to uh, to give us a, a start on the drain cycle so let me just open this a little bit now watch what happens uh, now that we've even just got a slightly increased pressure coming in um, we already have more flow here, obviously, but the chances are that drain cycle is going to go ahead and start for us because I made that adjustment. So the drain cycle is started. You can see that. So the drain cycle has started very well. Um, next thing I want to show you is what, what, what it would look like if you had too much water pressure and how you would have a drain cycle, but the grow bed would be empty of water. You're, um, so to back up a little bit, when your drain cycle is stuck at the top, then you're eventually gonna drown your roots, too much water, and they won't be getting oxygen. Transversely, um, if your drain cycle is stuck at the bottom because you have too much flow coming in and your cycle won't cut off, well then you're gonna dry your plants out. They're not gonna be getting the, the nutrients and the water that they need. So we're going to let this cycle drain out, and then I'm going to turn up the water pressure so that you can see what the drain cycle looks like when it's stuck with too much flow. Okay, this is a scenario where uh, you've got too much flow coming into your grow bed. Um, so I used the, the valve here to adjust the flow uh, to be pretty aggressive. Um, so in a situation like this, you may come out and to observe your aquaponics system. And you may say, oh, wow, look, you know, the drain cycle's working really well. You know, everything looks good. I'm, everything looks good and you might walk away. Uh, only to find out that this thing may be stuck in a drain cycle. Um, I think it's always important with an aquaponic system when you're using a flood and drain system, no matter um, how you're doing the flood and drain, is to make sure that your cycles are working. So if I come out and observe a system and I see that it's on a drain cycle, I'm going to stay out there for the extra few minutes and uh, see that that drain cycle stops because then I'll know that everything's working the way that it should. 
the cycle started, um, so it's draining, uh, and now I want to watch that drain stop so that I know that the bottom part of the cycle is working as well. So I've been out here for a while watching this, my drain cycle is not stopping. And that's because I have too much water flow going in. It's an easy fix. I will just barely adjust this back. Um, typically, if your system was cycling well uh, and you have a problem either with too little flow or too much flow, your adjustments need to be very minute. They don't need to be large adjustments. Otherwise, you'll be switching yourself right to the other side of the equation. Um, so with this one, obviously, we're stuck in the drain cycle where it started, but it won't stop. Um, previously, we'd explained that the drain cycle wouldn't start. So this is what it looks like when it won't stop. Um, now I want to show you what that looks like. Again, before we looked inside here and the water was at the top of the bell, but um, now you can see that the water's at the bottom. Um, and it's continually sucking in water and draining it out, but it's not cutting off. I'm gonna take off the shield, which you wouldn't be able to do if you had media in here. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and take off this shield to show you what this looks like. Um, you can see that the water level has come down to the notches in the bell, and it's sucking in air, uh, but it's not cutting off, so it kind of fills back up, and you can see it suck in, um, which is where it is sucking in air, which should cut the drain cycle off, but the, because we have too much water flow coming in, it's not cutting it off. And so, uh, what I would want to do to fix that is um, just come over to the valve and again I told you that I, once I get a cycle straight um, I normally put a mark on there just in case things get bumped or readjusted and I, I know where at least my starting point was so I've got that mark you can see it's slightly adjusted to more open which is why I have too much flow so I'm gonna just adjust that back um, to uh, a place slightly back so I've decreased the flow now uh, you can see the lines are marking up and now I've got I just made a minute adjustment I've got flow coming in what that's going to enable the bell siphon to do is more readily suck in air um, you can see it really sucking some air in there with the twist around the water and now I see a lot more fluctuation uh, with the drain here and uh, we'll probably get a cutoff here uh, in just a few seconds. Um, if your water's adjusted just barely, slightly too high, it can take longer uh, for the siphon to cut. Um, but it probably will cut. Um, so the best thing is that don't go and readjust your valve again. Uh, give it some time to see if that cycle's going to cut. Um, looks like it's about to cut. So again, you want to give it some time to see if the cycle cuts. Having a, having the, the, if the drain cycle takes a while to cut, there it goes. It cut off. And I just made that small adjustment. Um, but like I was going to say, if uh, having the, the drain cycle take a few minutes to cut off is not an issue. It's not a big, it's not a problem at all uh, for it to fluctuate back and forth before it eventually cuts off. As long as it cuts off. And so uh, that's what I'd recommend when you're checking on your system, the flood and drain, you know, if you have more than one grow bed, you know, and you see the drain cycles, make sure that you see them starting and stopping. And uh, that's going to be one of your primary checks uh, to your aquaponics system um, when you come out is that you want to see that those flood and drain cycles are working properly because that's going to ensure not only that your tanks, sump tanks or fish tanks um, are going to be getting good circulation, good oxygenation, but also purification from the grow bed. And it's also going to ensure that your plants are getting the oxygen that they need through the drain cycle and also the nutrients and water that they need in the flood cycle.